hybrid coconut farming, is a very new business in some areas around the world. Many people are already doing this business and making good profit because both demand and value of coconut and its products are very high. Coconut tree provides food, drink, and timber. There are numerous health benefits of coconut. The liquid that is found in green coconut or coconut water is very nutritious. At the same time, its pulp is used for eating. Every part of the coconut tree is used in some form or the other which increases its commercial value. Coconut cultivation has been economically more profitable for a long time because once you start cultivating it, you will get fruits for many years. The hybrid coconut tree flowers in just 18 months and the harvest of the first mature nuts comes 27 months after planting. Hybrid coconut tree when reach 4 years old and older, then the trees produce on the average 250 coconut per year. Hybrid coconuts can withstand drought and are much more resistant to disease. Hybrid coconut is the best business for farmers with low cost, low labor, and high profit. Today in this video, we will try to explain the method of hybrid coconut and its advantages and disadvantages. Salinity tolerant this tree is suitable for cultivation in all types of soil. Even after that, preferred soil types for growing coconut plants are loamy, laterite, coastal sandy, alluvial, clayey, and reclaimed soils of the marshy lowlands. For getting better production, the selected land must have to proper drainage system and good water holding capacity. At the place of planting seedlings, Soils huge pits of the size, 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters, may be dug, and crammed up with loose soil, powdered cow dung or compost, up to a intensity of, 60 centimeters earlier than planting. You should do this at least, one month before planting the plants. Then make a small pit inside the main pit, so that it can accommodate, the nut attached to the seedling. Plant the seedling inside this pit and fill up with soil. After planting, press this oil well to avoid water stagnation. In most cases, a square system of planting with a spacing of 7.5 meters by 7.5 meters is considered best for planting coconut plants. And this spacing is enough for accommodating 177 plants per hectare. Although, many different spacing is applied in many different areas around the world. The transplanted seedlings should be shaded and irrigated adequately during the summer months. Also provide staking so that winds may not uproot the young seedlings. For the first two years after planting, irrigate the seedling twice a week during the dry summer months. Shading is a must to the transplanted seedlings. Everyday maturing from the primary year of planting is crucial to gain higher productiveness. For coconut, 20 to 50 kilograms organic manure need to be implemented in step with palm in keeping with 12 months with the onset of southwest monsoon whilst soil moisture content is high. Different forms of organic manures like compost, farmyard manure, bone meal, fish meal, blood meal, knead cake, groundnut cake, and so on will be made use for this motive. In addition to this the subsequent fertilizer agenda is recommended. Weeding regularly is very important for healthy plants. Weeds consume nutrients from the soil and your coconut plant will suffer. So, try to keep your field free from weeds 